Now we'll discuss about uh, assemblies in C# assembly is a core part of runtime it's a collection of all information required by the runtime to execute your applications it's a pre-compiled dot net code which can be run by the clr it is reusable versionable and self describing building blocks of clr content of an assembly consists of a manifest file and assembly name version information security permission and uh, there are two different types of assembly private assembly as well as public assembly private assembly individual copies are maintained for every applications and shared assemblies only one applications are maintained for an applications versioning is not possible in private and uh, versioning is poly is possible in shared now we'll move on to the coding part open visual studio visual studio 2017 file project click on console application just out out statement and a read key build the solution then click on the solution open folder bin debug this is your exe file so assembly by exe or dll open so it is run on the address space and click on one more so each requires a separate address space if you create dll file you need an address space to execute the dll file next how to create a dll file click on the solution add project click class library select my dll file ok so create a square method Square method is created that will return x build once succeeded then go to file this is your dll file to execute this dll file we need an address space so copy this url click on this console part add reference click on this project solution so this is your dl link or you need to browse it ok so the reference is added here then go to this program and uh, add the dll add this dll file and uh, create an object for class class 1 method is square access the method square value will be 5 build the application then debug the code so this is your DLL output and this is your normal output this is an example for private assembly if you go for a shared assembly to create a shard assembly uh, create an assembly we already created assembly and generate a key pair using sn that is a strong name key tool okay then uh, keep install it in a global assembly catch by using gac util tool Na then we will move on to the process click on this properties dll so assembly name is my dll and click on this assembly informations so here title description square function and company ec and this four boxes first represent major version second represent minor version third is built-in version and third one is sorry, fourth one is revi revision you can change value so it is reflected here 
see the assembly information CS so this information and the updated information next process is to create a strong key so click on sign in sign in assembly choose new my key you can give password also click ok and SHA algorithm secured hash algorithm strong name key is created then build once again next process is to install it to the global assembly catch so visual studio develop run as an administrator go to this open folder locate the DLL file and copy the com complete path CD paste the URL check the GAC util tool yeah it is working fine followed by iPhone I that stands for installing and uh, my dll file dot dll right press enter so assembly successfully added to the catch that is global assembly catch utilities this way shared assembly processes thanks for watching